What is up my boy warriors and welcome back to another video, another vlog. Today we got something special to wrap up the end of this year. So we're here at Move Hackney and I'm joined by my man Erdy. Um, today we're actually going to be just having a training session generally together, catching up, sharing some ideas, uh, but also I'm going to be testing my 2019 goals that I set for myself back in January, seeing if there's actually any progress being made. In terms of my goals for 2019, I do have some, obviously. The one-arm handstand is number one. I'm Also, as I said, I want to achieve the one-arm chin-up on both arms. The straddle planche is still on there. It was a goal for 2018. I've also found some love for weighted leg training recently. In 2019, my kind of goals are 200 kg deadlift. I also want to get 150 kilo back squat, as well as having full meal splits and, and all the other flexibility stuff that I've got currently. So uh, after taking a look at some of the goals, I've just decided that some of them just aren't gonna happen. Uh, mostly because I completely forgot that I even said that I was gonna give it a go at working at some of them, i.e. the back squat or the deadlift. Definitely some of them we can still work on. One arm handstand, straddle planche. I wanna test front lever as well because I've been keeping it on the, the maintenance. I wanna see where that is at. I'll give some one arm chin-ups a go despite the fact that I haven't properly trained at them because they still cause my elbows some grief and yeah or maybe do some handstand push-ups as well. Right, so we're gonna test things first. Straddle planche, front lever, just because those are the two things that I generally find fatigues quickest. I usually do my one arm handstand stuff, an hour or so of training, and then I'll do my main strength session, but I'm gonna start with the planche with the front lever, then do the one arm handstand stuff. That's being covered in a whole another video about whether that's actually being achieved, and then we'll move on to the strength stuff afterwards. Attempt number one. So that actually felt really strong, surprisingly. I've always struggled with understanding where my hips are in relation to being flat or the planche, so those are a little bit high, but I got a really good lean and yeah, felt solid. We're gonna give one more try a go from that position and then we give some a go from just handstand lowering down in straddle planche. Uh, but I'm not gonna do too much because performance drops pretty quickly. Right, so those didn't really work out. Um, that was probably about max effort. Maybe a couple, three second holds in there. Three or four seconds. I would say today's a pretty good day as well, so a fair representation. Still a long way to go. But it does definitely feel like the strongest it's ever been in terms of just like pure strength there. The first one felt really solid. It felt like I could probably pressed up, but it was maybe a little too high. Uh, it's just one of those ones that tapers off really quickly and now it's just gonna be kind of pointless me trying to push it anymore. Uh, we'll move on to front lever. Right, so I've been kind of warming up for front levers in between, just doing a tuck hold and a straddle hold. We're gonna give a full go. I'd like five seconds. Mm -hmm. <sighs> that was just like a really slow. <laughs> so Stop it. Yeah, I tried to pull back up, but I couldn't pull back up. Oh, damn it. Number two attempt, I'm gonna try and make it not a super, super slow negative. I'm just gonna think about trying to lift up when I get to parallel. Okay, go, go, go. Five seconds. Hold it. Oh. <sighs> right. That was four and a half. Four and a half? 
All right, so that's it for the straight arm skill testing. There or thereabouts with some of them, but generally not the best progress this year. But it's fine. <laughs> All right, so hands to the session is done. Very subpar day, maybe affected by the strength work to begin with. It's an all round somber feel to this video. Um, now I've got to test one arm chin up, maybe hands down push up. I might leave it for another day because I know it's going to be not as effective. I still think I can perform pretty well for the one arm chin. So I'm going to warm up, do that, then do the strength stuff. Uh, and then call it a day. Right, so I'm not gonna lie, as I said at the beginning of this video, I haven't actually trained with the one arm chin up that much, simply because it still bothers an old elbow injury, and I don't really care enough about it to throw off all of my training. But I have been doing the odd one, mainly in workshops, so I still know that I can usually do it. We'll see if I can get one today. No. May as well, left arm. <sighs> um, yeah, not, not the most successful of days. Although Planch was better, straight arm strength was better. There has been some good handstand moments as well. Um, but as I made a recent video talking about, like, do I see myself as a coach or an athlete? Uh, this year has been for me all about coaching, all about learning more, getting other people better at doing anything. That's where my focus has been. That's where a lot of my time has been spent. And sometimes training has been just a sacrificed a little bit. So probably not the best year in terms of progress. It also has been good in many respects in terms of this is probably the most injury free I've been. I haven't really been injured all year, um, which has been good. Like coming back from elbow tendonitis, ulnar nerve compression, bicep tendonitis, torn supraspinatus. So I've had all these injuries over the years, which is, although I've made progress, I've made lots of dips. Whereas this year has been like consistent which, which is a change. We're gonna finish this strength session now, and then we're gonna, just gonna jump into some people who have actually made some progress, and that is basically my clients. Because this is just not all about me, I don't wanna make this video about the things that I have done. It's very much about what other people have done, what you guys have done, what my clients have done. That's what I wanna share and shed light on, because you know we're all at different points in this journey together, and we're just working on whatever we're working on at the time. So for example, my client Adria, he's been working hard on getting his handstand push-up and he also managed to achieve his style press right at the end of this year. We've had Darren who's been working hard on his pigeon position which was super tight initially and now is pretty much flat. As well as being able to train and juggle having two small children. Then we have David who just was nowhere near touching his toes and now that has unlocked that range of motion for him. We've got Hannah who managed to achieve her first press to handstand, which is a massive milestone for her and is now closing in on her middle splits. We've got Mark who's made some great progress. He's managed to straighten up his handstand, get that line nice. He's also managed to achieve the middle splits and get that touchdown on the pancake. We've also got Matt with just one T who has been making some great progress on his handstand, his flexibility and just all round general strength goals despite being in the face of a pretty bad shoulder injury which he is also rehabbing. We've got Matt with two T's who again had a full labrum tear following a car crash and we've managed to completely heal that. He's got the tick off from the doctor and he's beginning his handstand journey which I think is a truly good expression of being fully recovered from that injury. We've got Tom who is now entering the stages of the one arm handstand, the eternal struggle, the endless grind. He's also unlocked his handstand push up, working towards the style of press and getting pretty low with his pancake. And then finally we have Rachel, who's just generally an all round beast and power lifter, but she's also been unlocking some pretty mad handstand skills, getting her tuck down, her pike down, and yeah. This is all round progress. This isn't everyone by any means, and I'm sorry I couldn't mention everyone, otherwise this video would end up being far too long. And this doesn't account for the, the messages that I get on Instagram or for YouTube or the comments, just like they managed to get 30 days of stretching consistently or 30 days of training consistently or touching their toes for the first time. Like the, at the end of the day, we're all working on bettering ourselves. And that is, I think, an awesome thing to do and certainly part of a lifetime process. 
But that has basically been it for this week, guys, and I guess end of 2019, although this video is being uploaded in the beginning of 2020. We've got some big things to come, both for myself and also you guys as well. I want to take you along on the ride as we're now at 300,000 subscribers strong, which is, again, just crazy. And I'm just loving hearing this and seeing this community grow. It brings a whole lot of joy to me, and I'm just so happy that I can help so many people. Generally, truly, just unbelievably grateful for the opportunity I've got. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you want to have any questions, if you want to let me know how you got on in your 2019 journey, where did you end up getting to, let me know in the comment section down below. If you just enjoyed this video, if you just want to support the channel, just do a good thing, hit that thumbs up button, would really appreciate it. Right next to it is also that subscribe button. If you want to join, stick around, enjoy the ride. But that's been it for this week, guys. I'll catch you in the next episode. Have a strong week and peace.